So today we're going to talk about cutting a pattern for a comfort bird. As most patterns you'll get a diagram something like this that you can uh, scan and copy and then you take that diagram and cut it out so that you have these templates. The key thing is to when you uh, scan it and put it into a document like uh, like Word, you can scale the pattern so that it fits the block of wood. Or you cut the block of wood to fit the pattern, whatever works best for you. So in this case, um, we've scaled it so that uh, this fits on a 6 inch by 3 inch block. And we're just going to take a, a Sharpie, best for the camera, and carefully outline that template. And then we take it, we rotate it 90 degrees, and do the second pattern. And it's key to, uh, to line the uh, one, one end up at the same uh, point along here. So now we're going to just uh, draw that pattern. Remember, the pattern is just the uh, starting point, so if you're not totally accurate, don't worry about it because you're going to be carving it. And you can fix it any way you went uh, along during the carving process. So now we have our blanks that we're going to bandsaw. So that's, uh, that's the largest one, and the resulting bandsaw blank is going to look something like this. And... Uh, We'll uh, show you how to bandsaw those in a minute. So I've got two others here. A, uh, a smaller one, which is about four inches by two inches. And we're going to do the same thing. The uh, one thing I want to mention is along the, the long side is usually where you want your long grain. That gives the uh, gives it the most strength. So notice I'm, I'm lining up the, uh, the head at the end of the block and then start my drawing. And on this one the uh, arrows are pointing the suggested carving direction that if you're uh, doing a hand carving, that's the, uh, the directions that you want to cut. Uh, those are always going to do cut downhill. So I've got the top. Now we're going to do the side. And again, I want, want the head of it to start at the end to match the uh, pattern we just drew. So there we have the side pattern, top pattern, and you can see that they, uh, they match up. One last one, even a smaller one. This is a uh, two by four inch blank. And it just absolutely fits perfectly along the long end. And then flip on the side. You can see there that fits pretty tight, but enough wood.
So there we have our blanks. Now we're going to go to uh, the bandsaw and uh, bandsaw these out. So we're on the bandsaw. I'm using a uh, half inch uh, 4 TPI blade. The um, probably the uh, a better blade would be a 3 8 uh, 3 or 4 TPI blade. Um, but these have very very mild curves uh, so it'll work just fine. Um, this is a, uh, a larger bandsaw. You can use a, a bench top bandsaw. Uh, possibly for uh, smaller blanks, you could probably even use a, a scroll saw. But we'll uh, we'll go through this, and you'll uh, get an example of of the two cuts that you need to make. Now when you're doing that, it's uh, important to always keep your fingers, uh, we use the rule of thumb about uh, three inches from the, uh, from the cutting surface, cutting blade. And then you take your, your two pieces here that you just cut off and put them back here because we need that for, uh, for the other pattern. So you can um, tape it together or you can uh, hold it together. So this one is pretty easy and there's lots of wood there to hold. So we're going to go ahead and cut, make the second cut, uh, just holding them together. Now we have our blank. Now we're going to do our uh, second one, the mid-size one. So again, we're going to put it back together. This time I'm going to tape it, since it's getting a little bit smaller than the other one. Now we got it taped together. Make it a little bit easier to cut. Now we have our uh, second bird, a little bit smaller, slightly different design. And lastly, we're going to do our the smallest one here. Oops. 
to put the sides together here. And again, on these patterns, you don't need to do, match the lines accurately because again, you're going to be carving so much off. You just want to get the basic shape to give you a, a good starting point for your uh, carving. There we have our uh, smallest blank here.